Here comes another beautiful day, but I tell you what, I was just driving in for my break and you could see the yellow coating on the hood of my uh, vehicle there. It's the pollen. It is blowing. It's mainly tree pollen and it is high. Elm, juniper, maple at this point, if you're an allergy sufferer, that's where it's coming from. From the trees, the initial source before we move on to, of course, grass pollen as that comes on later. Keelan shows, you know, pollen or not, it's beautiful out there. The sun is shining. We are in fine form today. Hints of green out west. Most of the action is closer to the wave of low pressure that's causing showers and storms. And yes, there is a little bit of snow western Nebraska. Storms down south and then a couple of showers out over western Kentucky. There's a severe threat for today and it's actually expanded a little bit. Uh, the enhanced risk down towards Memphis and then a slight risk, a marginal risk, just barely clips western Kentucky. And then tomorrow it pushes down into Tennessee, a marginal risk, a lesser risk across the deep south. So not too concerned about severe weather tomorrow, but with this cold front coming in out ahead of it, uh, the, the warmth, the, the daytime heating and the moisture we have to work with, even though it's limited, we could see a few showers, isolated thunder showers, primarily west. And then a line of weakening storms will head our way tomorrow morning. That'll fall apart, but then set the stage for redevelopment later on in the day. You need to see them blossoming as we heat up and that cold front tracks in. This is where we could get into your Tuesday afternoon and see some gusty showers, thunder showers, Thursday afternoon, I should say, gusty showers, thunder showers, and then they'll gradually translate east with this cold front. But notice this big upper low is still over the Great Lakes. You know, we'll likely have another cold front dropping in, which means Saturday's chance for showers and storms goes back up again. It'll be a quick hit quarter, half an inch, could be some isolated amounts higher than that, an inch if you get a couple of storms going through the same spot. But then again, we're going to add to that Saturday. So we're going to have some on again, off again, chances for rain and unsettled weather going into the end of the week and into the weekend. But it is 72 degrees. Our average high is uh, 10 degrees cooler than what Danville's doing right now at 73. Uh, it, this is warm stuff and we're going to hold on to it today, tomorrow. Even when we cool down with the clouds and the showers and the storms around, we're only going to be around 70 and then back in the mid 70s Friday. That weekend chance will knock us down a bit. But I keep showing this graphic to put it into perspective. 74 degrees is our average high May 15th. So we're running temperatures that are more typical around mid to late May instead of early April. That's how warm it is. And you can just see that big warm bubble. Signs are out there though, that eventually this will give and it happens every spring. We have this fight. We warm up and then we cool down by mid April. A big broad area of much cooler air. Our second cool snap or cold snap of the spring looks like it's taken off. This is uh, April 12th through the 16th. So you see it just developing out west and then slowly starting to spread in our direction. So get ready for that. But beyond that, it's a beautiful day. Temperatures forecast highs, mid to upper 70s. Look at that, 76 out in Winchester, up north in Owenton, 79, pushing 80 degrees, some upper 70s in Frenchburg, went and out towards uh, Owingsville. So everybody is in on the warmth, likely hitting some folks the first time, the 80 degree mark into some of our southeastern counties and even down south around Monticello, we're showing upper 70s. So Get outside and soak it up. There's showers and storms tomorrow, a brief break Friday, more Saturday. Could be much cooler out there, though, at the end of that eight day.